Hi guys. <coughs> Ugh. I have two doors. Yep, I've taken these off the old DVD cabinet that was over there. DVDs are down here. Tapes are in the, uh, the, 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 the lounge on the bookcase for the time being. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the um, doors yet. But I have to do something with the uh, DVD cabinet because I needed to get to the closet. Anyway. I have decided I will uh, put that in there. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this top off and I'm going to trim it so it's level here. And that's really easy to do because I'll just I'm taking a load of wood to mum's to trim in the shelves anyway, so I'll take this as well. All it is is just to twist those two lock and screws there, lift the lid off after I've marked it. There's a bit damaged there, but who cares? And uh take it to mum's, trim it off, bring it back, pop it back on. I'm going to leave the base there just to keep it a little bit stable because I was going to uh, trim this level as well but I thought that would be a bit more stable with that on there and I've got a little platform I can sit some things on as well. Mind you I could leave that like that because I've got like a bit of a surface area there to put things on. I don't know. I'll have a think. But, uh, yeah, I'll get rid of the PS2 games on here onto that rack or shelf. And that'll give me those DVD racks free to put DVDs on. And I've just got to find a home for all these VHS tapes. I'm just waiting for a friend to come up because he's got problems uh, with brakes on his bike. Um, which, uh, oddly enough, I was thinking earlier, because <laughs> I've got one of his bikes sitting out front there on the trailer, or leaning up against the trailer, locked. But I don't know if he still wants me to go ahead and uh, make the modifications to it that he wanted me to make. The trailer's full of scrap. I keep getting people say, wouldn't you weigh the scrap in yourself because it's not worth it on a little trailer like that. It only tows behind a bicycle, it's not very big. I'd be lucky if I get a pound and they don't pay out until you uh, reach 60 pounds, so that would be a lot of trips for that trailer. But uh, I've got a guy that collects it anyway. Which is uh, fair enough because he does me some favours as well, so he can take that. Actually, I owe him some money. So, when I next arrange to pay him what I owe him, which ain't a lot actually, not as much as I thought it was, but uh, I'll see if he wants to collect that scrap at the same time because I've got their mould computer cases up here that can go as well. A few other little bits. Yeah. It's a very weird design of flat, really, isn't it? Because uh, we don't have a road out front. Our road is actually over there, where that person is walking, or over there through that gap. I zoom in any more? Yeah, I can. Yeah, right through there. <laughs> so we're sort of between two roads, quite literally. And if I stand at either end of the... I have no idea what that was. <laughs> All I know is Nemo jumped up on the chair and something went crack. So, can't see anything. Yeah, but either end of the block is a stone's throw from the road, literally. So, that's a DIY place, and they also do um, building contract work as well. Hence the yard full of materials. 
zoom out now. Thought I might as well start the video while I uh, wait for my friend to turn up. Which I think he will come from that direction. Actually, one of my neighbours is over there. <laughs> The lady standing on the uh, right in the blue jacket. She live on the floor below me. Can't complain about my neighbours, not really. Way better neighbours than what I had in the uh, first flat I ever had. Wednesday is always quiet on this car park because we've got the Citizens and Ad Advice here, the Citizens Advice Bureau. Ooh, there's some farm machinery moving around. It's the second tractor with um, it was like long vehicle or something on it. Anyway, that building is the back side of the current council office, which, as I said before, they uh, should be moving out at some point. When that some point actually is, I have no friggin' idea. <laughs> but yeah, I'm meant to be moving out to allow Weatherspoons in, because Weatherspoons won't sign the contract to buy the building until it's empty. So, we're waiting on the good old NNDC. About as much use as a chocolate fire guard, they are. gone off line so he's probably on his way so while I'm down in the shed I'm going to fish out some wood so I can get the supports in from the table and then I can get uh, that TV on there because that's going to be too heavy for that desk that I've made despite I put the large brackets on as extra joiners if you like um it's still pretty weak, especially in the centre, because it's only made out of uh, that chipboard crap. Which is what most furniture is made out of these days. That is, that's not solid wood. Neither is that. That is, that's about the only thing I've got in here that's actually solid wood. But yeah, most furniture these, day, these days are made out of this stuff. <laughs> Cheap recycled wood, that's all it is. Which I suppose you could see it as a better for the environment because they don't have to cut trees down to make it. They just recycle the wood. Actually, I think that's solid wood. Yeah, that's all that wardrobe. My wardrobe come desk is. I really just want to stick a couple of supports in this end, front and back. Then I can put the TV up there. I've got that old VCR in the lounge, but it is so heavy, I don't think I'm going to stick it on there, because that is heavier than the TV. Where's my lights? Lights! There we go. <laughs> that thing is a lot heavier. Sorry about that, the battery's died. That's alright, and fully charged ones ready and waiting. Uh... If I stick them on charge now, I, I won't give. They won't get a full charge, but they'd be usable at least. Might as well while I wait for my buddy. He said he'd be up in a bit, but I don't know how long a bit is. I may actually go down there. Turn that on. I may actually go down there and get some room made in the shed so I can access the toolbox. I'm going to need to get a couple of spanners. 10 mil if I remember rightly with the brakes on his bike. Yeah. Alright then, I'm going to go do that. Mustn't forget to lace my boots up as well. New laces I've got to put in here. I've got odd laces and one's far too short really. Right, so I'll do that and uh, I'll be back later. See you later. 
Okay, my friend's been, I've done his brakes. Um, and a bit of a sort out in the shed and found some wood. Not enough, but I then remembered I should have a couple of lengths up here in the cupboard anyway. Which I'm about to go in because I need a six speed freewheel for the back of my giant mountain bike. Because when I pulled it out of the shed earlier, I thought I'd keep that out and use that for a little while just for a change. Seeing as uh, I've got a slow puncture on the Claude Butler anyway. And that's when I actually noticed that for some reason I've got a seven speed freewheel with a six speed shifter. I might explain why the gears are not working properly. I thought that was a six speed for some reason, but it's uh, not going to take me long just to pop down there and quickly do that. Uh, and then I've got to pop to Sainsbury's quickly. And then I think I can call it a night and stay up here. And just sort those PlayStation 2 games out onto the um, cupboard, shelf, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, and get the DVDs into those racks. Then I'm not sure where I'm going to put said racks. Haven't decided yet. Probably in the bedroom somewhere for now. Uh, might be getting a bit too late to do the legs. No, actually it won't be. I've still got a good couple of hours or so. I don't want to be banging around too late because it's not fair on the neighbours. Well, it wouldn't be much in the way of banging around, but they'll probably hear the drills uh, putting in screws. So, I'm going to pull my finger out and go and do something. So, I will report back later and show you what I've been up to lately. Well, I can't show you what I've been up to now because I haven't been up to anything up here. It's been outside and I didn't have the camera with me. Anyway. I'll talk to you later. Okay, I've got all the PS2 games sorted. Uh, oh, I'll take that one out of there. If you're wondering why I've got green Xbox 360 cases in no, not 360, just Xbox cases in there. They're acting as dividers for the time being. I may change that, I may take them out actually. It just seemed like a good idea at the time, you know, divide the genres up, but eh. it's all got to take. I was still sort of, you know, do I, don't I, about that top, trimming it down, but I think it's going to look tidier if I do trim it down. I won't have as much display space on top, but so I'm going to take that off later because I'm going over to Mum's tomorrow. I don't think I'll cut those doors because we're going to the tip or the recycling centre I should call it uh, and the chances are I could clog the car up full of those <laughs> and uh, there'll be something down there that I want like an, a decent bicycle or something pardon me so I may take the white ones and get those ones cut and no doubt I'll be over at Mum's again over the weekend so I could probably take the doors then. Anyway, got the legs in there and the TV up there. You can see why I want to put the legs in though, can't you? Yeah, it's a shame they're not dark like the rest of it but I could stain it if I want. But um, I've got two more lengths in the cupboard so I could easily put I could have done bringing those out from the um, end a little bit more but if I do the same up this end and then again in the middle we should be good <coughs> um, maybe if I get the one in the middle that would be strong enough to support the weight of that VCR um, but I do need to pull it out from the wall a little bit so I can drop plugs down the back. I forgot. 
<laughs> uh, so the TV is going to have to come back off here, but I'll just wire it up there for now. Right. Got those other DVD racks to bring in here. Still not sure what I'm going to do with these. Uh, I'll think of something. <laughs> Actually, I'm just letting the frying pan heat up because I'm, I'm hungry and I want some egg buddies, so just letting the pan heat up. Uh, after I've had a bite to eat, I'm going to pull the three computers out of the bottom of this and just line up on the bottom of this. I think I'm being a bit optimistic that my computer under here will... Uh, go under there, or oh, might just, just, um, in fact what I will do, I will make a bit of room and unplug that and I will try it. I don't know how many 360s I just did, but <laughs> going around in circles I'll get dizzy. Uh, the PS1 is almost ready to go on there. In fact, to save a bit of space, that's a nice flat surface, I could stick it on there. And I've got the light reflecting from the LEDs. Yeah. I'm not really fussed that this doesn't work. I'm not going to use it anyway. Uh, oh yeah, I've got all those laptops. <laughs> I've still got so much stuff. Uh, that TV will have to be moved. Maybe be able to tuck it under here. Actually, I'll uh, you know get those computers out of there. In fact, the first thing I'll do is get these out of the way in a DVD rack. <laughs> that would be a start. Because I see me knocking into those and knocking a whole lot over. I have a clear up in here with the vac. That's where I've cut the legs on the stool using this. So I get a nice straight edge because I can't cut straight to save my life. <laughs> what am I coming here for? Oh yeah, on one of these. No, actually. This is the other thing I'm going to look for down the recycling centre. See if they've got any more of these because I could do with a couple. They've had some um, CD racks down there, but the problem is with their CD racks that they've got in there, they're not deep enough for PlayStation 1 games. The, um, those cases are quite deep. I don't know why Sony decided on that design back in the day. But uh, it would have been nice if they went with a... Oh, I know why. It's for the booklets that came with them. Hmm. An ordinary CD case wouldn't have been um, deep enough, would it? Because uh, some of the books that came with some of these PS1 games was it were um, pretty thick. Anyway, got those in there. So I'm going to go butter the bread before the pan get too hot, because eggs don't take long to fry. So. I've made a bit of progress in here, I'll uh, come back and update you. <coughs> progress. Kind of. Yep, this is the old um, XP machine I had in the lounge. My black one, under there, well that was under there, um, is now in the lounge because it was, it's actually the exact height up to here. <laughs> it matches, it's the exact same height, so wouldn't go under, so I decided I'd swap them round. So uh, I brought everything into here to do that. Uh, so, and you know, I've swapped those PCs around, as you can see, I've put the two servers in there for now. Uh, I don't think I've got any more room in there. Um, so I've got that space there, but I don't want to put anything under there yet, because 
I've got the task of uh, dropping cables down the back somehow. Haven't figured that one out yet. Uh, I might have to like lift one end up and pull it out just enough or tilt it towards me enough so I'll just drop cables down the back. Uh, I suppose if I did that all now it would save me having to do it later. Uh, but at least I know with the DVD on there where to put the next so um, lot of supports just somewhere here yeah. so as I've got enough room to slide them on and off I wish you wouldn't do that Nemo I keep thinking I've got a ghost in here and it's just him jumping in and out of his box ah well that means once I've got all the junk cleared off of this I can uh That's the other thing I'm going to do. I'm going to set up my Windows 7 PC down here as well. I might as well. It's under there. Anyway, once I've got all the... <laughs> Sorry, got distracted. Once I've got all the crap cleared off of this, that will then be thrown away. No, it won't. <laughs> I know it doesn't have a keyboard tray anymore, but... This one has actually a busted. So, I think, probably over the weekend now, because I'm likely to be booked tomorrow and booked Friday. I know I'm booked Friday. But I'll swap these over. Because uh, the top, every time I pull on it, the top comes off, and one of the wheels has fallen off at the back, so it's propped up with three DVD cases. And I can't put the wheel back on because it's completely wrecked all the wood so there's nothing for it to screw to. So, yeah, I think that's my option. I'll swap these over. I'm not doing it tonight because it's getting late. I've just made enough room so I can move it in the bedroom. Uh, so, yeah, that's the plan. Pull this desk out. I don't think there's anything in there I could use for anything, so... That's broken, so that can go and be ditched somewhere. I'll bring the other one in. I think I might take that top... I don't know. I was thinking of taking the top shelf off. Coming through, Nemo. I don't want to stand on you. thinking of taking this off. take that off and just have the table. It's going to look a bit odd next to the other table. Yeah, I think I will. Right. Um. So I can't get that out, can I? I'll move those DVD right. I didn't realise I had this many DVDs. These two, full of animated movies, because I like my animated movies. These two are just full of movies. I honestly didn't realise I had this many. I'll just stand those over there. Clear the bed. Oh. <laughs> to put up there, haven't I? Hmm. I wonder, I wonder if I could drop the cable in there, better not, it's getting late. I think my neighbour would appreciate me thumping around on the floor at this time of night. So, alright. Oh, I mustn't forget to go put my bike away. So, I need another monitor from the Win 7 PC. 
That I will set up on the interwebs wirelessly because I'm going to invest in, in the future, when I can find them, should be laying over here. These little Wi Fi USB thingies. I've only got the one and it's got to be used on this laptop. But they're cheap as hell, so I'll just invest in a couple and. Well, to be honest, that one down there doesn't really need to be online, but nor does the Windows 7, but oh, pardon me. I figured, you know, well, actually, to save on room, I've got one of those, um, a two-way, one of those. That would actually save on some desk space because I wouldn't need to set up another monitor, keyboard and mouse. I could just run it through what's it... Oh, and caught the camera thing and the little screen on the side. I could just run it th all through that. That sounds like a better idea. So how many plugs... I'm going to need a lot of plugs up this end as well, aren't I? Shit. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in total. <laughs> that would mean two four ways. Well, I've actually got nine plugs because I've got one for the light that's in the cupboard the other side of that wall over there. Uh, Cross that bridge when I get to it. I've got two four ways, and I've got one of these things. Actually, I've probably got two or three of these bloody things, but I don't like. Hang on. Sort of wipes everything out when I've got the LEDs on. So I don't really like using these unless I'm going to put two low powered items in the one. No, I don't like to use that. Ooh, 69 pence. Wow. I think over time I'll have to invest in two six ways. That would be the best option. Like I said, it's not going to overload the sockets because I won't be using everything at the same time. I'll either be using one or the other, so... And I'll keep things like the DVD player and video recorder turned off properly. And the monitor, so they won't be drawing any, even a dribble of current. Yeah. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend using an extension outlet. Uh, <laughs> if you're going to be using everything at the same time. Or unless everything you got connected to it is low powered. Such as that. <laughs> and uh, aren't you? I shouldn't think a DVD video combo would uh, use a lot. I could be wrong. Hmm. Right. Because yeah, if I got a couple of six wires, I could hang them on the wall. Or just lay them on the floor behind everything. It doesn't matter because they're not going to be seen. Uh, right. I could change it and go to Mum's at the weekend because I'm not in any hurry to go over. <laughs> um, if I just tell her I just want to get some more work finished here, she'd understand. I've got friends I'm going to Friday and she broke a bike. <laughs> So I've got to take some parts over. Well, I say she broke her, but it wasn't deliberate. I know she watches my videos and I don't want her to think I'm blaming her because I'm not. <laughs> don't shoot me. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'll get that done. I'll take my chain splitter as well because that'll be easier. She, um, what's happened? 
somehow her rear derailleur has gone and broke. I think from how she described it, I've got a feeling that derailleur may have got caught in the wheel and uh, it's just sort of wrenched it round and bent and twisted it. So what I'll do, I've got plenty of spares. Uh, take that, take the chain splitter. I've got a little bum bag there, I can put it all in that, that's not a problem. Uh, might as well take a 9mm spanner and a pair of pliers with me. <laughs> The amount of crap I pulled out from underneath this desk. So it just gets slid under there when I walk over junk and whatnot. Anyway, there's my old Lexmark printer, which is a bitch to get cartridge ink cartridges for. That's the XP machine I built to play games on. I still haven't used it, so I figured as I use computers more in here. I'd be better off putting this one in here anyway, which is the other reason I swapped them. So, uh, <laughs> it's my fault. I thought I'd measured this correct so that, that shelf would actually be high enough so I could fit the servers under. If I could have fitted the servers under, it would have been high enough for the other PC. But, no, I went a bit wrong somewhere with my calculations, and it's too low. It is level. I've got it all nice and level, but... Yeah. <laughs> so, I need to cut four more legs to go up this end, and I think that would actually be it for the support. By the time I get the four in up this end, well, we'll be good. And I'm actually thinking I should have got as many of the cables down the back before I put the extra legs on. Otherwise, it's going to be a complete bitch now to move the table. Unless I'll try and make some sort of big hole. <laughs> but I think if I clear all the crap off and that TV off, I should be able to tilt the table towards me. Uh, should. But as you can see, the way I've placed those legs there, it's taken the weight of the um, TV. And it's up the back as well. Under the. I don't know if you can just see the shadow. There it is. And the same on the floor. <clears throat> then of course I've got the metal brackets on there just to take any weight that I put on the end. That's the other reason I put the metal shelf brackets on. It's a bit of a bodge, but it's working. <laughs> you know, a carpenter I'm not. But it is... Well, I built it for a task, not to look pretty. <clears throat> that reminds me, if I do go to Mum's tomorrow, I'm going to take a camera with me. So I can take a photomograph of what my stepdad's been up to. Because I think he's done a bloody awesome job of his uh, fish tank cabinet. <sighs> well, I'm not going to be getting up to much now, so I'm just going to end the video here. I still want to do more, but that ain't gonna happen. Well, I could have a bit of a tidy up, but that's about it. Uh, I don't know. Because once that has gone out of the way, well, those drawers can go in here, and the DVDs that are behind me can go up there. Because I primarily sit in bed and watch things, so. I'd be better off with the DVD racks all sort of stood in there somewhere. And I've got to move the Mega Drive. Get that up here and all the necessary leads down the back. Because that's a bloody great thick adapter, I think I might be better off feeding the small end up rather than trying to drop a big fat power adapter down the back. Yeah, that would be the better option. And that TV lead, because it is so short on that one, I'll just 
run a little cable around the front. I've got that little orange extension lead I made. I'll just use that. Because uh, there's no point in me dropping it down the back because it won't even go past the um, bottom shelf. <coughs> so I've just left it hanging down the side there. And like I said, I'll just plug that little orange extension lead in I made and run up behind the uh, blue box that's down there. That's where the socket is. Yeah, if I get two six ways, one up this end and one up there. Don't think I'll need any six ways over here. Although another one would be handy, so if I get three. About six, seven pounds a piece though, just for a standard one, which will be okay. bloody corner cleared out. Uh, and the next job, once I've got the shelves cut, which will be these, will it be these white ones? I think I might cut them a bit thinner, because I've just thought I wanted to use the um, dark brown ones, didn't I, in the, in the, uh, Lounge, which are over there, which you can't see in the LED still on. Oh no, I'll turn them off. Uh, so yeah, I'll cut these white ones. I might take them to Mum's tomorrow and get them cut. Then again, I've got to think: is there any bloody point? Because I'm not going to be here Friday anyway. Uh, um, I don't know. I'm not going to be here Friday, then there's no point in me getting any wood cut until the weekend. So I think I'll, I'll save it till the weekend. Probably um, Sunday, I think I'll go over to Mum's. Uh, that's also Sunday roast day. Love a Sunday roast. just not very cost effective for a single man like me to uh, cook a roast. Because <laughs> I don't really dick well. I suppose I could buy chicken portions and do it that way, but that wouldn't be the same thing. Or a really dinky little joint of meat. It's actually a shame I've got to get rid of this desk, unless I could find something to fix that wheel. What I may actually do is just take everything off and turn it on its end and just have a look before I get rid of it. And if I can fix this one then I'll fix it and use it because I do prefer this one to the other one. And I'll just dump the other one. So I'll have a look at that tomorrow. Well actually I could have a look at it tonight. <laughs> right, I'm going to disappear and call it quits. Because guess what, I need the toilet anyway. Oh. This camera doesn't sit on this tripod straight. <laughs> it's actually screwed on like that. I don't know if it's the tripod, because it is only a cheap... Well, I got it with a camera that I bought a while ago, which I broke the same day I got it. <laughs> it had um, one of the screens that you could turn on it, and uh, I turned the screen the wrong way and broke it. That really did tick me off, because for what I paid for, that wouldn't have been a bad camera. Never mind. Right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you like it. My voice keeps going squeaky. <laughs> and uh, subscribe for more videos. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.